Welcome back to the Judean People's Front. We're having a good time with this, you know. The uh, Tomlick guys are, so the Alexandrian successes are collapsing. And I'm getting myself into a position to nicely expand off that. At the moment I'm just waiting for my army to march back from the uh, south. Then I'm going to start expanding. I need to make sure this army here has got a good number of footmen and um, okay. yeah, good line infantry. I think they're a little bit cavalry heavy. Heavy. Actually, I'm probably lacking in skirmishers. Yeah, we've got loads of level infantry and loads of cavalry. We are lacking heavily in skirmishers. We can boost them quite heavily with a bunch of skirmishes. You don't need to go all that way, you just need to get to there, which is another two turns. Right, population here. Build a new building. Right, get the cattle ranch out. Population here. Focus down on that. That gets us much. Not really. Money. We're not doing it hurting for money. It's culture we're hurting for. We'll stick on the um, more population growth. All right. These guys are in run unrest, but. Probably because they're just so far south. Right. They're going to get a bunch of new guys. Need to bump up that progress. Build zealot bikes now. I'm going to go for the Zalot Barracks, because I'll get a free building in my capital. Right. I may have accidentally tapped out on my, um... Manpower for this turn. Forgot that skirmishes are a lot of men, even though they're quite weak. It would cover. Oh, ooh, look at that, we're nearly at the top. Wait till we start actually conquering some useful, useful places. Alright, we do not need the emergency there, we do need the Zealot Pyrex. Oh, that helped. growing quite nicely. Now the Taggings don't want peace. Big parlors open for business in Rambia. Seven money, ten culture. Choices here, I think the public works for more infrastructure. farm is finished down here. Means you've got plenty of food. Actually start working some culture. Now, what do we want here? That doesn't give us any culture. That gives a commerce bonus. That gives us Cavalry and equipment. No lumber. Plenty of hemp. And we'll have 
cancel soon. The smokehouse for the health. This is quite a large area. I like to have some health. Oop, 50 money was seized. Right, so. The Zealot Barracks. Vampire 7, that is very nice. Got Flex. Imported, that's fine. 15 XP when a unit's created. Vampire Bones 15%. Excellent. Alright, we can't afford anybody because our manpower's tapped out. That's okay, we've got two quite good armies. Ooh, that massively reduced that stack, didn't it? Yeah, apparently it's more power without a leader. Take the siege expert on the hit. I still, I still want to charge straight through it here. Pick out the Dubatine castle. See what happens after this. Do I replace those two buildings? A Macedonian army? Yeah, I am going to have to move, like now. Just to be able to make sure Macedonia don't take everything I own. Ooh, another progress token. That'll only be helped now. Synagogue. Okay, I can't get synagogue yet. Place at the temple building. Worship place equal to one, so I need at least one worship place. Not a pleasure house. Salt needs pottery. I don't like any of those. They do a shuffle. Building up food. Yeah, I fix those. It's fine. Rabia. Rabia is raiding us. Yeah, is that a new population? Excellent. Increased loyalty, but they're already very loyal. Iron, Woodland Mercenaries. Oh, Quarry needs marble. I don't get that one. Bill water just be health, that'll be food and wool. Blacksmith just because I've got a couple of tier one there. I'm hoping that it's um that we have a full stack here. Also deck this is down to 14, which is what's helping us. Right, let us send the um Dominic's a declaration of war. Right. 
because they are at war with pretty much everyone who's important around here. It looks like they've repulsed the Macedonians. Also, it's got, they've got Petra, which would massively increase culture at the cost of that, and the King's Palace would probably get scrapped. Being currently besieged by the um, Macedonians, I'd probably go for Samatia. Samaria. Pretty empty. That's quite a nice one, but these are two objectives, so I can take them in one turn. Position to take it. Branch has been completed. Wait, I was shuffling that one. Right. I'm not liking the Macedonian sitting on two of my objectives. I'm watching my eye and it's getting a bit, my metal's getting a bit low. But yeah, we need that boost of culture now to start getting this higher up. Oats is about to enter a golden age at this rate. Right, Tomlick Egypt. That's fine, that's exactly what I expected. You have fun with that. We are just going to take a couple of objectives off you. Right, new population down here. Still another turn before they shuffle, so I might as well keep growing. New population here. There's yeah, the 23 turns. Off in that. Second, it's a uh, it's expanding. Now the perceptor house is here, which is good because that's the one that reduces decadence by 0.4 and gives me a bit of culture. So that should start dropping quite rapidly now. Give them a nice amount of infrastructure actually. Let's check these places, make sure no one's about to starve out. No, nope, they should all be okay. Yep, just. We're looking good. Okay, let's see how this war goes. Right, there's a small Tomic army there. Oh, they marched into my homeland. I'm at power 11. Not even worth watching the battle. Come power 44. I'll view this. It's not worth exporting quite because they're going to be weak troops, but. Got some palace guards, but mostly the militia, which we're just going to chew through. I will export some battles. Ooh, lost some regular infantry. But only when they really look interesting. I was hoping to destroy that palace guard in the retreat. Come on. We'll pursue that army. I think wiping out the rest of the number teams is a smart move. Then I can concentrate on south. 
in two progress tokens in a turn. I think we did. Possibly from the objectives. Yes, I've just taken two objectives in a turn. Every house has been completed. Hooray, these guys have food. Thank you for the brickwork. Token. We're getting close to being positive on the culture decadence though. 0.69, we're going up. Harry is willingly pre pledged. That, so there. Loyalty's not bad for a new conquered area. Right, plundered their capital. 126 money. Conquered, Seleucids, Cardoni, Armenians, Cardonians. Active. Yeah, you really just want me to go right into there. Yeah, the Tom Lakes have collapsed. Right. As much as I'd like for you to have a turn off, we need to be expanding. another objective now. Far oh, too many slaves here. Get an easy um, public works. Because that will give us some... Uh, yeah. If there's an event that can get rid of slaves, I think I need to take it next time it turns up. Even though I know we're probably going to be adding more slaves after this. Right, new structures. Theatre. Not bad. Public works. Armour. Slave market. I want the culture, so I'm going to drop that and then move you two across. They ready to put the repelled. Decadence is high, but nothing we can do about that much. Can form out of the province here. Syria will really help. So we're at 0.69 here. Let's run another turn and see what happens. As we take another objective, hopefully. Take me a turn or two to recover. And just the past guards left. And I noted. But yeah, my armies are hammered and need a turn or two to recover. We're draining our manpower heavily. On the other hand, we just expanded quite heavily. We have now a positive metal, probably because the amount of regular infantry units has just been killed. up the legacy t table. Right. So this place is very healthy. Like overly healthy. Ooh, I'm going to switch to that. We got a fair chunk of distance but that will drop. That was a, a bit of plundering but mainly hits. And this place is producing huge amounts of food. Orchard, producing figs. I don't get any trade off it yet. Oh, drugs and herbs, that's useful for quite a few things. I think they're uh, producing a lot of raw materials. I think the uh, commerce bonus from the usher would be very useful at this place. Got an abandoned palace which may get robbed out. Fairly soon. 
population, that's good. They finished their building. I'm gonna go for that. What's completed here? Give me horses. Okay. Almost bonus. They've already got the caravan house, so the caravan variety is a nice upgrade on that. Is that actually an upgrade? Yeah, it replaces the caravan house, it's a level two. So that seems like a good one to go, it doesn't use up any slots. Need to do something about their loyalty, however. Probably by stationing an army on top of them. I move assistant up to money making. Culture and move the slave back into there. That's good. Gonna be harsh the next few months. Definitely not why we want to be messing. That's some plundering. Isn't too much of an issue down there. You really just want us to go to War of Macedonia, don't you? I'll say it's finished here, which is good because it's um these resistance. Maybe a province has been formed. Which is you know, a fairly major one. Alright, so let's have a look what our culture decadence is now. 0.66 but we expanded. Got three from wonders, one from culture. Yes, yeah, we're getting culture now. But somewhere's got at least a thousand culture. Probably Solomon's Temple, yeah, Solomon's Temple. I want to be focusing Ju uh, Judea. Here is to me, here is a culture place. March into my capital, apparently. I'll leave you there suppressing rebels. It's going to take a, a turn or two for these guys to heal up. My oh, manpower's shooting up, though. That's great. Up to 30th. I'm only gaining 6 a turn now. Probably because I couldn't conquer anything. Right, ranch is complete. Food is no longer an issue. food bonus here. I'm going to go for infrastructure. I feel like I've been concentrating a bit too much on food. Go for an infrastructure focus for now. That'll cost me a chunk of money, chunk of infrastructure, but give me huge amounts of infrastructure. But I need iron. That would increase my decadence. Probably loyalty. Yeah, 
yes, actually their loyalty is dropping slightly. Just I need that to um come up a bit. Formation and Rome have expanded. Yeah, so we quarried out this um infrastructure. So it means we'll get things quicker. regular infantry and a couple of cavalry for this army. I might actually change that to that and do heavy cavalry. Alright. A little worried about the splitters here. close to River Pellion, so I may have to actually hold off the wall. What I can do to improve that, apart from moving a bunch of citizens. Culture working. Martial law. Now we're building up some nice culture, it should be a bit better. Wouldn't surprise me if this palace gets robbed out soon. that much difference in growth time. Public Works here is helping with the uh, that and you've got everything. No new provinces I can build. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to deal with this army here. Good, it's an Abertain army. Sitting on my lovely little objective. So it will be destroyed. And that may actually be a um, an export battle. has been completed here. Get street parlour going. Okay. You attack these guys. You march south and join up with that army. 3% loyalty re revolt is it terrible. Let's expand this army. So another cavalry next turn. Get that guy next turn. straight into there actually. Alright, that'll be it for this time. So I'll see you next time and we may, depending on what this army looks like, may actually export a battle. Just for the fun of it. I've done a few videos about exporting a battle. But the Tomalinks are pretty much gone. I need to move quickly now to secure the remains of this, including these two objective regions. Um province wise they're both, those two are both in the big team. And I can move into CNI. Just taking these two would take most of CNI. That's depending on what the Macedonians do. Macedonia may well be the next target because they hold three objectives already. Oh, but yeah, we've definitely got past the, the dangerous bit and things are looking good. So I'll see you next time.